I don't know if you saw the cover of the New York Post today, but of course, New York is going through its own election right now, mayoral election. And they spoke about how Bill de Blasio visited the communist USSR in college. And, uh, you know, and, and the cover here says back to the USSR and it's got the hammer and sickle. I mean, this is something, this type of propaganda is still used, is still put, um, you know, onto covers of the New York Post. Do you well, think it still works? Well, it's very much in the air still, yes. Uh, there is a a desire to punish the Soviets for their revolution that still is, it's in the body gene of our, of our nation's conscience. I, you see it time and again. You but does it. this still work? Do you think that this still resonates? The with New York people? Post is a, is a, you know, is a low, low class organization politically, always had the stupidest ideas and always for war and empire. But I'm talking at the higher levels of the so-called intellectuals and the New York Times and the New Yorker and all that stuff. Even there, you see it, constant Soviet bashing, even though these people have, well, I think you have to read the history to understand their contribution to World War II as well as to, as to social reform all throughout the world. I have to... Um, and that's to say I agreed with what happened because it turned into a monstrous state.